Hello, 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 what's up this afternoon, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fine Thursday to y'all. Good to see ya, good to see ya, good to see ya. What is up, Dragon Archmage, Dylan Hunter, Jamie, how are you? Good to see ya, Madison, Draken, how is everyone today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Probably wondering, a little bit early start, but yes, it is an early start, but that's because we got the Watsy stream one hour from now, one hour from now. Now, we get our first look at Brothers War. I can probably zoom out a little bit. There we go. We get our first look at Brothers War. I think some spoilers. I'm pretty hyped. Brothers War is one of the sets I'm really excited for. So I figured I might have to stop after the Watsy stream to make a spoiler video. So we should probably get off to an early start so we can uh, actually play some magic before spoilers. Tumbers and also the Cardboard Samurai. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Plus, hey, Barbie, you want to come say hi to people? Hey, bum. Come here. Come say hi. People want to see you. I got a treat. Do you want it? You gotta come over here. You gotta come by the microphone. <laughs> He's just looking at me like I'm like I'm an idiot. Uh, Barbie, this way. Lure you. Why are puppies so leery about being lured these days? <laughs> Barbie, you gotta say hi to people. Come here. Come here, Bear. People want to see you. Come on, bud. Ready? Oh, come here. Oh, you're getting so big. You're getting so big. Ready? Oh, there you go. There you are. Say hi to all the people. Here, you can eat treats. You want a treat? There you go. Look at you. Look at you, big puppy. You want to get down? Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Doritos? Are Doritos... Oh, my God. Are Doritos the key for luring puppies? <laughs> Have you kept up on the Magic 30 Disaster Nose face for side events? Yes. Um... <clears throat> That is looking disastrous, I would agree. The dog is almost bigger than me. He's got to be 150 plus at this point. He's so big. Uh, anyway, he is a fine hound indeed. So the plan for today, the plan, I love bear too. The plan for today, we're going to try this sweet harmonic saga deck that I came across today. I don't know if you remember, a long time ago, I think when Kamigawa came out, I had this hypothetical list that I don't think we ever played, which is Magnus. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big stupid for you. The idea was you play Rite of Harmony, which draws whenever an enchantment or creature comes into play with sagas that make creatures like Teachings of the Kirin, Fable the Mirror Breaker, Wedding Announcement, to just draw a ridiculous amount of cards. And then someone actually put it together. I forgot about this idea. Someone put it together, actually played with it. So I really wanted to try this deck because... Rite of Harmony is a super cool card, and we just get sweet enchantments. Hallowed Haunting, no one's playing that. Wedding Announcement. So excited to try this deck. So the plan for today's stream is Harmonic Sagas, an hour from now, we will watch the Watsy stream together, and then... Either we don't get any good spoilers and we'll keep playing Magic for a while, or I'm gonna have to run off and make a spoiler video if we do get good spoilers. So that is the plan for today. So there is a Wizards announcement stream. This is supposed to be the sneak peek at Brothers War. It's not the official start of spoiler season. This is like the, the early sneak peek. I think official spoiler season is going to be like a month-ish from now, give or take. But this is our first look at the set. And we'll probably get some cards. I don't know if they're announcing anything else today. I know, I do know they're announcing some alchemy cards, which we can we can gloss over that part. But Dave Bunker, welcome to the fishbowl. Barbie. All right, you gotta chill, bud. I'm streaming. I'm streaming. You ate all the treats. Good boy. <laughs> Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big tip for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is not like the old Nye Enchantment deck, though. There's no, like, Rune for Champion. We're not trying to grow some huge creature. We're grinding out Saga value with Rite of Harmony. It's very, very different as far as how this plays compared to uh, compared to some old decks. So let's do our reminders. Jump into, jump into some games so we can play as much magic as possible before spoiler time, which we'll watch together. They're twisting, oh my goodness, twisting, twisting it. Welcome to the fishbowl for the fourth month. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for you. Thank you, thank you. So many subs. Thank you, Jarrett. Welcome to the fishbowl. Big soup cheer for you for the sixth, uh, 72nd month. Good Lord. That's at the very top of the list. Six year anniversary. Happy birthday to you indeed. At least sing happy birthday. Oh no. Do I really got to sing it? <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby. Uh, uh, very, very good. Garris, thank you so much. All right, so reminders. Replay YouTube. That's when we invite all the old streams, including this with the future. Normal YouTube. Tons of stuff coming up on there. Tomorrow, there's a super sweet Munch of Brew deck. Hey, Barbie, chill, bud. You got chill. You got chill. You ate all the treats. They're all gone. And I'm doing a stream. Uh, Barbie is, uh, Barbie is super, uh, 
super persistent at the moment, aren't you, bud? Do you need a good pat here? Get a good pat. A good pat of the bear. There you go, buddy. A good pat. There you go. And now you got to chew on this thing. See this bone? I got you this sweet bone. Here. Chew on that. Bear me. Chew on the bone. Yeah, good boy. Chew on that. Good boy. Okay. Hope, bear me. <laughs> uh, a reminder that our sponsor today is Card Kingdom. If you need some magical cards, you can get them over at cardkingdom.com slash Goldfish. If you get a free goldfish sticker, just let them know you want one. Dominary United is there now. Infinity, if you want it, it's there now. Brothers War coming soon. So thanks to Card Kingdom for supporting the show. Otherwise, merch page, tokens, t-shirts, play bets, get away support the stream of the channel, the site donations. Always appreciated, never required. $2 or more gets your message read on stream. Why no read ahead sagas? Could play read ahead sagas. The main goal of this deck is we want sagas that take and make creatures. That's kind of the, the main the main gimmick, really. Because, uh, so here's the plan of the deck, and then we're gonna jump right into it. So, Rite of Harmony is the key card. It's a two mana answer that you can flash it back for four. When a creature or enchantment ETBs, you get to draw a card for one turn only. So the idea is, if we play a Rite of Harmony and then play like a Teachings of the Karen, Teachings of the Karen is an enchantment coming into play. So we draw one card, but then it makes a token, so we draw another card card maybe we have a hollowed haunting that makes a token so we draw another card or maybe we wedding announcement it's an enchantment so we draw a card and then we get a token from the wedding announcement so we draw a card a restoration of a john is going to flip around fable the mirror maker a saga so it's an enchantment to draw then the token lets us draw so the idea is to play these enchantments that also make creatures so we can just take and make a ridiculous amount of card advantage essentially and hope that eventually we draw into our hollowed hauntings and uh, overwhelm our opponent and win that way the only real creatures in the deck we got Jukai naturalist for ramp and katilda which is just massive and lifelinking and one of the reasons i'm intrigued by this deck is we don't really have a ton of decks that are hating on enchantments at the moment it's not a super popular archetype so i feel like maybe just like hollowed haunting what are you gonna do your liliana is not gonna get it your shoulder is not gonna get it although we'll get all of our card draw so excited to see if this works in the sideboard bunch of removal and hate cards essentially a couple of planeswalkers for the control matchups so let's give harmon Sonic Saga is a try where we wait for spoiler stream. Got the playmat, they look amazing. I got mine too, and oh my goodness, don't they look so good in person? I was actually like pretty impressed. I don't want to say surprised because I thought it was going to look good, but I was like blown away at just like how vibrant it is. Uh, it actually is in person, way more vibrant than you can really see in the video, honestly. Yeah, Shielder might be a little bit annoying. Hopefully, hopefully we don't run into that. So what are we what are we hoping for today, chat? So we know it's announcement day. We know we're getting our first look at Brothers War. We know we're getting alchemy. They're still doing that. Uh the alchemy will continue until the morale improves, apparently. Um Katilda is a sweet card. I feel like Katilda is underrated. I had someone play Katilda against me in Pioneer today, and it's actually kind of legit if you have a bunch of enchantments. So what are we what are we hoping for? Brothers War, Urza Mishra, big artifacts. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't really know the the Brothers War story. I'm not like super up on the lore aspect. Wow, we're down to Mythic 78. I don't really know the lore aspect. What what is the actual story? They're just like brothers and they hate each other. Is there is there more to it than that? <laughs> Uh, the announcement stream starts at one hour after our stream, so about 52 minutes from now. It's Urja and Mishra fighting. Eh, okay, I guess I guess that makes sense. Double double hallowed haunting is good. Why are they fighting? They just like generally dislike each other, or is there is there a reason for the fighting? Oh yeah, Katilda's great in light paws. Opponent. Satan versus Hitler. Yeah, I, I do remember someone saying that they're like both just pretty bad dudes. <laughs> that neither one of them is like the kind of the kind of hero that you really want to root for. Uh, do we fable the mirror breaker? Do we fable the mirror breaker or do we just restoration? This gets us a planes. It gets us to hollowed haunting. Mm. And we can discard Besage you and yeah, let's let's just do that. We're just gonna trust that we're gonna fall a little bit behind here, partly because we're on the draw, but we're gonna trust that we catch up with Hollowed Haunting X2 and just overwhelm our opponent. 
There's also Titania who thinks they're both idiots. Uh, Titania sounds like a wise, <laughs> a wise person. What do you know? But Titania, like the elf that taps for a ridiculous amount of mana. That Titania. Uh, well, let's discard Rockfall Veil. Vale. Get it back. Play the planes. Play the hollowed haunting. No whammies. No whammies. Both Mishra Nerza find Thran artifacts inside caves of Koilos. Mishra is being influenced by Yagmoth, and once Urza realizes his brother is mostly a Frexian, he kills him and vows to uh, kills him and vows to find and kill Yagmoth. So should we be expecting? Oh no! Should we be expecting Yagmoth in this set? We know this is like time travel themed so does that mean dead characters can be alive like what Ooh, ooh. all right we gotta go big we gotta go really big can we go big enough to not die one two three four so they have vigilance and they'll get trample well hallowed haunting make a spirit play the land teachings of the Karen, two spirits, mill. Oh, there's a right of harmony. There's a right of harmony. All right, we got some four fours. Does this let us survive this huge jet? Your opponent plays a land. Or are we too far behind? Come on, deck. Hold. We could use a removal spell. We can't kill this jet mirror, unfortunately. Oh, uh, Yagmoth is on old Phyrexia. Okay. I hope they don't retcon anything. Wizards isn't too bad about that, are they? I feel like that's something I haven't heard a lot of complaints about in in the in the multi Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Flashbacks to dying in Pioneer to Mono Green Devotion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Storm of the Festival. I'm surprised this Oh, they turned it on too. I'm surprised this doesn't see more play. Well, they don't have double strike at least. That's something. If they attack with Jetmere, we will kill the Jetmere. Whoa, passing. Okay. Passing, flipping. Put a counter on something, but we still can't. Can we win here? When you cast... Okay. As long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance. Flying and vigilance. One, two, three. So we just fly him to death? I think this is going to work, right? So we play Fable the Mirror Breaker. Make a couple spirits. To the air? To the air with the spirits? Make a goblin. And then... Oh, no, we need seven or more enchantments. Oh... One, two, three, four. Oh, we're definitely not getting there. Hmm. I was thinking we need seven or more spirits, but we need seven or more enchantments. That's another story. Uh, well, Fable the Mirror Breaker. The problem is if our opponent gets double strike here, I think we just die. Like, we can't overcome this jet mirror. We've made a ridiculously impressive board. I'll go attacking. We gotta do what we can. Gotta get some creatures off the battlefield. Wow, our deck is going off, but our opponent's deck is also going off, maybe even more. Hey, what's up, Magic Arp? How are you? Making smoky barbecue ribs, Velveeta shell mac and cheese, mm, the good kind, and sweet cornbread for dinner. Got something like an at-home date tonight. Ooh, that sounds delicious, Magic Arp. Good luck with the date. Good luck with the date. What about the spoilers? Spoiler stream. Oh yeah, that's a problem. Spoiler stream uh, about forty-five minutes from now. Fingers crossed we get something good. We know this is a sneak peek first look at Brothers War. Traditionally, that means we get like four or five cards. Who knows? You never know with Wadzi. You never know. But is it possible that we see... Wait, but is it possible we see that maybe because Urza's Ruinous Blast is a card? Wait, what did I miss? Opponent goes to four. One, two, three. Yeah, we're just going to die here. We cannot beat this double strike. Well... 
I think that honestly, this is because our opponent got to play first. <laughs> We did not interact. Our opponent did not interact. We did huge things. Our opponent did huge things. But our opponent got to play first. And that that was the difference between winning and losing. Like, if we had went first, we would have killed our opponent before they killed us. So, yeah, don't count opponent. We're dead. Hey, good to see you, Elementalist. Welcome, welcome. All right, so, opponent has a bunch of small creatures in Jetmir. The Besagio seems fine. So I guess basically we just try to have a way to kill the Jetmere. Try to kill the Jetmere and hopefully that that's all we need to win. Wow, we were close. If we could have got flying, if we could have got the flying from Hallowed Haunting. Oh, we need one more turn. We need one more turn. Hey, what's up, Winzo? How are you? I mean, can't feel too bad about that because our deck actually, like, it was working. And we didn't even have the right to Harmony. All right, we get to play first. Ugh, one land, ugh, no keep. Well, <laughs> hollowed hauntings for days. We will try it. Land go. Abundant. Mentioning how I want to see an Urza flip card that has him uh, be a planeswalker on the black. That would be sweet. I mean, we got to get an Urza and a Mishra. There's no way they do this Brothers War set and we don't get Urza and Mishra. So I feel like we should we should be fine. I don't know if it'll be a planeswalker. We have what two? We have two Urzas. Well, there's a right of harmony. We gotta. I think we gotta wait though. Let's fable. Needed our lands. Yeah, we got the destroy evil in. That's our our jet mirror tech. Hopefully. Uh, Tron. It's not. I don't think it's gonna happen. I hope it doesn't happen. I think Tron would be. Probably a bit busted. I don't think we actually want that. Wedding announcement. No, oh, discard right of harmony. Discard wedding announcement. Draw a tap land. Oh, opponent's got a lot of mana. Lots and lots of mana. We'll play the Jetmere Garden. Is it worth cashing in our goblin to play Hallowed Haunting? Maybe. Either that or we just wedding announcement, which I guess is fine. Yeah, that's my big concern. Like, ah, standard rotates. Standard rotates. So, if you put Tron in standard, worst case it messes everything up and... And then it rotates in, you know, 18 months or whatever, and you move on. We've had a lot of cards that are broken show up in standard, and they rotate eventually, so it's fine. My bigger concern would be Tron and Pioneer, because Pioneer doesn't rotate. So if it messes up Pioneer, I guess you're either banning it or just, like, living with it forever. Proof! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Super Jay for you, and we got a new donation from... Lucid! One Lucid one. How are you? Lucid, good to see you, good to see ya. Okay, so we draw the land. I wish Rite of Harmony drew a card whenever a creature entered and an enchantment entered instead of flashback. It would actually be good and unique as opposed to a glimpse of nature because it would draw two cards on an enchantment creature. Yeah, that would be pretty neat if it was if it triggered on both. Because right now, yeah, there's not much of a push to be an enchantment creature deck. I know we got, like, Xur now, uh, Weaver of Harmony, but it's not enough to really make enchantment creatures into an archetype. It would be cool to see more support for that, because it is a neat idea. Great goal for the 18th month. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you, thank you, thank ya. My expectation is... My expectation is that we get a callback to Tron that is not Tron. I don't think we're going to get literal Tron. Opponent's going to do a bunch of trading. We'll kill the citizen. I mean, this is fine. We get to draw a card. We get to play Hallowed Haunting. We get to play Teachings of the Kirin. We got a right of the Harmony in the Graveyard for some point. Mill. Wedding. Ooh, Jukai Naturalist. Okay, that's also good. That's also good. 
What if Tron only made four or five mana when it was assembled? That might be fine. Seven's a bit much. I wonder if... Uh, I think it might do something other than make more mana. I would not be surprised. Wow, really? I would not be surprised if there was something that was like... Some sort of Mishra Tron. You get the three lands, you do something. But I, I would be surprised if it was actually just like, make a ridiculous amount of mana, win the game. Overgrown farmland. Well, we'll grow a... We'll grow a spirit. One, two, three, four. So we could draw two with Rite of Harmony. Actually, wait. So we Rite of Harmony. Yeah, we're just drawing two. Ooh, awkward, awkward, awkward. Well, play the land. Hollowed Haunting. Mega Spirit. Jukai Naturalist. Make two spirits. Hollowed Haunting is like a real card. Go attacking so we get to draw a card. And then next turn's probably the Red Harmony turn. Mitra's Workshop would literally destroy everything. <laughs> Mitra, Mitra's Workshop is so busted. It would have to immediately be banned in every format, I think. <laughs> Tron lands weren't actually all that scary last time they were in standard, and Ravnica standard a bit of better fixing than this standard. Pioneer may be different though. That's basically my concern. Like, uh, like I said before, standard rotates. So even if Tron was too strong in standard, it's gonna go away eventually. And if it's way, way too strong, oh no, they get to exile at right in harmony. And if it's way, way too strong. Well, then you can take in, uh, yeah, that's a bummer. Then you can take and, um, then you can take and ban it if you have to. But Pioneer doesn't rotate. Did they clear up the rules weirdness on Sarah Paragon? I don't believe so, but I think it works in the intuitive way. Well, flip the saga. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. This is probably game. Flying in Vigilance. Everyone to the air. An opponent. <laughs> I mean, that's basically our jet mirror. <laughs> basically, we, we get summoned in jet mirrors, and uh, it's our equivalent of having a jet mirror. Would Mishratron making seven mana for artifacts only be okay? Seven mana for artifacts only would probably be underpowered, honestly. Then I think you're then I think you're getting into the potential disappointing stage like if you needed to assemble all three lands but your reward was only casting artifact spells i feel like then you're you're risking a karn living legacy situation where where everyone's like oh this is like an iconic thing but it's just so underpowered because it's so narrow so i would worry I, could there be a deck that would take advantage of it in an older format maybe although i would wonder in an older format why wouldn't you just play actual tron if you could uh, you know and cast anything with it we are playing standard at the moment. Playing standard and then waiting for uh, Brothers War spoilers in about a little over half hour. Jay Zoller, six year resub. Welcome back to the fishball. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is a sneak peek. It's not full spoiler season. It's, uh, it's the announcement stream. Normally it means we get a few spoilers, not a huge amount, but... But yeah, so we should get something. Oh, two rights of harmony. Only two lands. So we do have a hollowed home. Yeah, whatever. We'll we'll try it. We're on the draw. Should be fine. Yeah, a little early start the Great Destroyer because we got the Watsi stream to check out spoilers. And I might have to, if there's spoilers, I might have to, to run off after the Watsi stream to do a spoiler video for YouTube. So I wanted to make sure we actually got a chance to play at least a little bit of magic before all that happens. MS Sm M Small, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, please don't mill all of our lands. Please don't mill all of our lands. Please don't mill all of our lands. Land, land. Be able to mirror breaker. All right, only most of our lands. <laughs> Would be funny if we got the rest of the pain lands revealed. I mean, I wouldn't expect like a ridiculous amount of spoilers. Usually, early access day, we get what a handful. 
All right, we really need to draw land here, or else I actually think we got to trade so they don't have enough creatures to trigger this. Oh, we draw land, okay. Praise the magic gods. Land off the top, Fable the Mirror Breaker, pass the turn. That's what we wanted. I think that the official, we know that they're doing spoilers in Vegas. Oh boy. I th I'm starting to think that this Vegas might be like the, the fire festival of magic. <laughs> We might have to. Is there any way we can? Hmm. Is there a way we can write a harmony here for value? So we have Fable the Mirror Breaker. We put this trigger on the stack. Is there a way we can do this? So if we write a harmony, we'll get one draw from teachings. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably not worth it. I guess we gotta wait. So, discard, a right of harmony, and a Catilda. Draw a land and a restoration. Flip the saga. Remember, you ever see the Fire Festival documentary? I mean, I don't think it's a scam, but in the disaster, in the disaster mode. <laughs> I'm actually like a little, a little concerned. That that uh that that might be it. <laughs> I'm looking forward for Mirrodin part two uh as well. I I do love Mirrodin. Mirrodin will always have a special place in my in my heart because that's like when I started, basically when I started playing. Well, touch the spirit realms. Get rid of the paragon. This lets us get in and make a treasure, which will be helpful next turn. Opponent. Down to 18. I am, yeah, I'm gonna be in Vegas. If you're there, come in uh see me. I don't know, I might I might try to do some. I've never really like streamed live. In which way am I concerned? Well, it just seems so I know it's gonna be super fun. I don't have any I don't have any doubt about that. It's gonna be super fun. Vegas is always super fun. But well, there's a jet mirror. Boy, Storm of the Festival is pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. Oh, we gotta think about this. So we draw a land. I guess the saga is just gonna flip. Hmm. <clears throat> Play the land. Looking pretty deadly. Looking pretty deadly, and we're very pinched on white mana. Hmm, how do we not die? Is it possible for us not to die? Well, I think we play this, get a planes. Because we do need the planes. Play the planes. Oh, hey, just kidding. We can't do that. That's not a legal play because we already played a land. Ooh, hmm. That's probably a punt then. Yeah, this is looking real grim. Real grim. I don't get and go attacking. Jamir's a... Cool. Jamir's a house. Why are there... So oh, they got the flip wedding announcement. That's right. So I think that the Vegas, the concern about Vegas is... Well, run out the hallowed haunting. The concern about Vegas is it seems like it was put together at the last minute and that it's um, not going to have a lot of place for people to play. All the events are kind of like sold out. There's a lot of a lot of stuff like that that's going on. So as someone who just like has a general admission ticket, was planning on going and just meeting people and playing commander, I'm actually not convinced there's going to be a table for me to sit at and just like play some commander with people. <laughs> Uh, so, so that's kind of my concern. They sent out a thing saying there's like extremely limited space for side events. So I don't even know if there's going to be room for actual paid events, let alone just casual games. Uh, I'm used to like last time we went to Vegas, it was huge. And there was all the space in the world and you could easily find a casual game anywhere you wanted to. So uh, a magic fan where you can't play magic. Well, you can play magic, but only if you spend a lot of money, it might be, it might be that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we can get out of this. Jet mirror seems to be a problem. 
Down to three. That is not a lot of life. Not a lot, a lot of life. Well, we draw teachings of the Kirin. Hmm. I'll discard teachings of the Kirin. Actually, we probably could discard right of harmony. We just don't have the time for it. Discard right of harmony. Get back a teaching so the Karen tapped. Make some make a spirit mill. Oh, they're gonna have trample too. Play the land. Teachings of the Kieran. Mills of cards. Catilda. Maybe a 10-10 lifelinker can save us. That's our that's our hope. Pass the turn. Catilda, do your do your thing. Come to Magic Summit. So I'm already going to The problem with Magic Summit for me is it's just so close to Vegas. If it was spread out more, I would consider trying to do both. But because they're like almost two weekends in a row. Uh, Katilda is flying. Flying Lifelink Pro Vampires. Also 10-10. So I think this Katilda might might carry. And then we can put the backside into play and make something else into that. And that might be enough. These Katildas might be able to steal this win here. So that's kind of the that's kind of the issue, is just like <clears throat> it's tough to do two cross-country. For me, I'm not a I'm not a traveler. I don't really like traveling. Uh, it's tough for me to do two like I far west side of the country trips on like back-to-back -back weekends so that's that's why i'm not doing the summit if it was further away from vegas or possibly if i had known how hey what's up benny good to see you possibly if we had known the full picture of vegas going into it i would have considered maybe doing the summit instead which i know some other people did but uh i mean i'm still i like going to vegas Every, a lot of people are going to be there i still think it's going to be super fun i'm just i'm expecting that the fun parts are going to be in hotel lobbies and at the pizza hut down the street from the convention center or things like that rather than in the in the actual event hall itself bring it opponent Math is supposed to be for blockers, but our opponent's doing the math. Maybe we're just dead anyway. We can make a 5-5 five, five with reflection. Ooh, opponent passes. Is this end step? Okay. So make a spirit. Untap. We draw a land. We get a bunch of triggers. Grow Catilda. Grow Catilda. Flip the saga. Catilda's Rising Dawn. Go to combat. Oh, everything's flying now? Do we win? Wait, is this flying and vigilance? Oh, oh my god. Well, attack you. Wow, Katilda power. Attack you. Uh, yeah, yeah, get in there. Gain a 40-ish. <laughs> Katilda, Katilda. Yeah, I guess we could have copied another spirit to get an even more damage. I mean, at this point, I think we're just good. I mean, our opponent's got to do a lot of blocking. We gain so much life that I'm not even sure our opponent doing things matters and opponent scoops it up. Uh, Katilda has, uh, leg is legendary, unfortunately. So we can't actually copy Katilda. Wow, that actually went well. That deck felt sweet. Um... Yeah, so my expectation, yeah, 5.30. Hey, what's up, Benny? Uh, 5.30, so we got about a, a half hour-ish. Hey, Daifon, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you. So I think Vegas is going to be super fun, but I am worried about the event itself. There's going to be a spoiler a spoiler panel or something for Brothers War, which will be interesting. I don't know. I'm wondering, 
I, I kind of want to try to stream from the event, but it wouldn't be able to be gameplay. It would be like, would you watch a short stream of just like checking out the event, like walking to the event and walking around the event and seeing what's there? Like, is that something that has any, any interest to any of you? If not, no worries. I was more curious if that was something that would be interest, be interesting. Just like an hour or something of just like, hey, here's what's going on. It's a goldfish crew. We're, you know, checking out Vegas. Now, maybe I'll see. I've never actually done a stream like that before. I've always just streamed on my PC and played games. But if I can figure out how to do it, maybe uh, maybe I'll try to do that. That would be kind of fun. Wow. <laughs> seven lands, seven lands. Uh, I was done with a magic a year or two after Arena came out. Then YouTube recommended me one of your videos and Arena sucked me back in. Thanks. Oh, I I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for sucking you back into Arena. You know what? Six lands. This should be fine. What what more could we want than every land in our deck? <laughs> Homesick from work today. Oh, feel better, uh, Bobby. Good to see you though. Oh my god, another land. Get a hat and go pro and stream Seth at Vegas. <laughs> you only get to see the, the magic parts. <laughs> Actually, probably the most interesting parts are like... Oh my god, that's another land. Probably the most interesting parts would be... Uh, would be like, I don't know, craps with the professor and the... Uh, the you know the people from the command zone or whatever creators around like that might actually be the most interesting part of a a Vegas stream would be just the like off outside of the or the random draft that's taking place in some hotel lobby with you know random people who are there maybe that would actually be the most the most entertaining part of all that oh my goodness I've never bought into the shuffler is rig conspiracy theory but. I'm st this game is making me believe. It's making me believe. <laughs> it is putting the tinfoil hat on my head. <laughs> About it. Well, at least we can discard this Ajato. My favorite part of your videos is you joyfully discussing things and then randomly complaining about drawing lands, then back to sounding happy. <laughs> yeah, that that about some that about sums it up, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, what's up, Death Boss? How are you? Oh yeah, if anyone's in Florida, hopefully you're you're doing all right. It sounded a little bit like maybe it wasn't as quite as bad as it could have been. Is that a correct a correct reading of the Florida hurricane news? Like it could have been worse. Not that it was good, but it wasn't quite as bad as maybe they thought it was going to be like before it made landfall. Regardless, if you're in Florida, uh hopefully you're hopefully y'all are doing all right cuz it sounds kind of wild. I saw a viral video of a shark swimming around in front of houses. That is absolutely frightening. I just want you to finally experience good food in Vegas. Where where would you send me to get good food? The problem is, the problem is, I, the problem is I don't I, I don't really like good food. Every time someone takes me out to get good food, I end up wishing I was like eating a burger somewhere. <laughs> It can always be worse in Florida. I'm in Orlando. Didn't even lose power, but the coast got it rough. Oh, that's uh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, everyone takes me, tries to take me out to eat like fancy good food, and it's like high end, expensive, really awesome stuff. And I'm, oh, this isn't a cheeseburger. <laughs> can I can I have fries with that, please? <laughs> Where's my pancakes? <laughs> Syrup on the side, no mixing. <laughs> Parents are down there, a little damage to their property, but not too bad. Well, I'm glad I'm glad it was not as bad as it could have been. Well, discard discard. Restoration of a Jano. I mean maybe we can still stabilize here. We get a planes. Play the planes. Go to combat, hit ya. Make a treasure. And. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess we better get Tilda. Only a 3-3, three, three, but 3-3 three, three beats a 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> My brother on lives in Orlando. Their avocado and mango trees got uprooted. Sad day. Ooh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I think they're running out Katilda is the best bet here. Will Brothers War be focused on more artifacts? The bit of news that we have heard about Brothers War is uh, big artifacts is one of its main focuses. If you look at like Karn Living Legacy and the power stones that seem so bad currently, those will probably make more sense once we see Brothers War. So I'm expecting not only a lot of artifacts. I mean, both Urza and Mishra are heavily associated with artifacts. That's kind of like their thing. So I'm not only expecting a lot of artifacts, but I'm expecting big artifacts. And I think this continues. Oh. Was not expecting that. <laughs> I will admit, was not expecting the main deck crafted uh, identity. But uh, you got us. Oh yeah, now now our opponent has the Katilda and it's massive and we don't have removal in the main deck. Yeah, I think that uh, that's probably pretty bad for us. We have not done anything with Rite of Harmony, which is annoying. I kind of hope it's not Metalcraft. I think Metalcraft's kind of a boring-ish mechanic. I would like to see something more interesting than Metalcraft, I think. Well, all right, discard the land, get back the land. Restoration of Ajano. Yeah, we're just... Yeah, let's go to game two. I mean, for keeping a six lander on the mulligan, we made it a little close. Do I drink caffeine? I do. Uh, I love my, my coffee. I try not to drink soda. I used to drink a lot of soda, but I, I quit. I was a, a Mountain Dew, Code Red Mountain Dew addict for a while. That was... So I mostly quit soda to quit the Mountain Dew. So now I just have a little soda on occasion, but mostly, mostly coffee. Why don't we cycle the Seiju to hit the enchantment? Wait, did we? I'm confused. Was there a time that we could have done that and didn't? Well, if, if that happened, then that would be a mistake. I don't remember when we played the Seiju. Yeah, Soda's uh, pretty pretty uh, unhealthy. Affinity to Squirtle. Welcome to the fishbowl. Or hello, rather. <laughs> Sometimes I just accidentally go into the, the sub thing without uh, without realizing it. Uh, let's get on to Zeus's many journeys. I feel like Zeus's many journeys is like the, the weakest of our sagas. Hollowed Haunting, as we've seen, is kind of Busterino. I really want to see Rate of Harmony go off. All right, trim, trim. We're on it like that. Hundred out. Ooh. See, the thing is, I don't know if I'd appreciate it. I think if I went to get a hundred dollar burger, I would probably. I'm trying to enjoy it because burgers are good, but I don't know if I would get like ninety dollars of excess value out of it. I guess that's a very magic player way of thinking. But I imagine I would be eating the burger, and I'd be thinking. That's good, but is it really $90 better than a $10 burger good? <laughs> That's the, and the answer would probably be no. So I think that might be, that might be the issue. Exactly, yeah. You gotta have the, the quantity over the quality. Although that's, even that's a little sticky. While I would rather have 10 $10 burgers and one $100 burger, I would also rather have one $10 burger than five or uh, let's say 10 like dollar menu burgers. <laughs> I don't know if they even have the dollar menu anymore. I guess it'd be maybe $2 now or whatever. The, the value menu. I think like $10 burger definitely would be better than, than the $100 burger, but the $1 burger, mm, probably not. Hey, what's up, Kristoff? How are you? I'm doing well. I am excited for Brothers War. Hopefully, good spoilers, fingers crossed. I keep thinking maybe I should try going vegetarian again, but last time that did not go very well. <laughs> I did it. I did it for a while, but um, <laughs> I think it somehow made me less healthy. <laughs> it went vegetarian just like eight cereal with no milk until until i gave up brothers war is the new is the new magic set the next magic set the next set in our never-ending string of spoiler seasons 
Uh, that's a lot of lands. Um, well, at least we can cycle one of them. So opponent probably is Wandering Emperor, but I think that's fine. Get in, hit ya. Make the treasure. 100 burritos for $100. That might not be bad. That'd be like a taco, like a Taco Bell taco. 100 of those. Probably couldn't need 100 in one sitting, but still. Found it. Samurai and blocks. All right, that works. That is legal. Now, by the land, hollowed haunting. Go. Mm -hmm. Tired of, ah, can you really ever be tired of spoilers? Yeah, unfortunately, to get to the Brothers War stuff, we may have to sit through some alchemy stuff, but at least the chat should be entertaining. <laughs> Ayo! Ooh, I got to play, I got to play AO CDH today for Commander Clash. I would have never guessed that AO was a sweet CDH commander, but uh, AO's actually a really sweet CDH commander. So with the new card releases, the meta will change, yeah? In theory. I mean, it should it should change to some extent. It really depends on the release. Ideally, new releases, meta changes, you see new decks, you see new cards. <sighs> Sometimes that fails, but usually that's what happens. I'm hoping that Power 9 Arenas. Uh, avert your eyes, desktop incoming. It's getting super full too. <laughs> don't look, chat, don't look. Um I what was I talking about? Oh, the power nine thing. I really, really, really hope that it's uh like vintage cube. That would be so sweet. So I'm hoping they're adding literal power nine. Well, that's like all the sound effects that were stuck suddenly went at once. Um Okay, so. Restoration of a Jano. Make a dork. Get a planes. I'm hoping that that's what it means. Vintage cube would be so sweet. Play the land. Wedding announcement. Hallowed haunting. Pass the turn. Hallowed haunting might be one of the more underrated cards in standard, I think. Johnny May, first time sub. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup to Thank you, thank you, thank you. Strike fast and strike fast. Uh, why wouldn't they add Power Cube? I feel like they'd make a ton of money on Power Cube. And we have some precedent of them adding cards just for like Momir. If they're going to add Grizzlebrand for Momir, couldn't they add Power Nine and some other good cards to make Vintage Cube or like Power Cube work? Whopper for a dollar? Wait, when could you get a Whopper for a dollar? Uh, but what's a, out of the, out of the main, like, uh, okay, main low end, let's say fast food restaurant. So like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, that tier, not the, not the next tier up with like whatever five guys or whatever those are, but out of the, out of like the nationwide low tier fast food burger places, what's, what, uh, what is the highest tier? What's your pick for the best? Uh, we will discard a card. Thank you, Restoration of a Giano. Discard the planes. Or like Chili's, I, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Wendy's, yeah, like Wendy's, Burger King. Chick-fil-A isn't really a burger place, although Chick-fil-A makes very good chicken. I think Wendy's is probably my favorite as far as burgers. Ooh, Carl's Jr. Yeah, I don't have Hardee's around here, so I never actually get I never actually get Hardee's because of that. Uh, so this is a six five. We can destroy evil the AO, and who knows what will happen with that. Now let's cycle this. Ooh, Fable. All right, play the land. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Make a token. We have not drawn any Rite of Harmonies, though, which is kind of disappointing. I really want to see Rite of Harmony go off, and we just have not been able to make it happen. Baconator is very good. Yeah, that is that is a good one. I don't really like Arby's. Arby's would be on the low end for me. 
Burger King's okay. McDonald's, I think I probably underrate because I worked there for a while and it grossed me out. <laughs> so I think that that makes gives me some bias against McDonald's. About it. It's us for seven. This AO is doing it. Oh, did any of you take the EDH Rec Salt score thing? I don't know if you've ever seen that before. Have you do you have you even seen the salt page on EDH Rec? There's the Shauna. Opponent. Passes. Well, uh, okay, flip the saga. I don't think we loot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or do we loot? Oh, it'd be so greedy. If we loot into an enchantment, one, two, three, four, five, six, we could get everything flying? That would be the greediest line, because if we whip, then we just die to Ayo. <laughs> the fact that there's a salt score for EDH shows how fragile EDH players are. Ah, I mean, I think it makes, to me, it makes sense for EDH, since it's such a, such a casual form. I think that's too greedy. I don't think we'd actually do it. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm an idiot. We can copy. We can copy the enchantment creature. Wait, do we win? If we copy this. Four, eight, twelve. Go to combat. Everything in our opponent. Get some triggers. Do we need to kill this? A block here, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, I guess we don't. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. We just let this go. And hopefully our opponent just, wow. The flying mode on this has been absurd. TJ OJ. Oh. oh boy, the downside of our plan. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, well, at least we had vigilance. Do we have to kill the AO? Probably. All right. Yeah, we got to kill it either way. So kill the AO. Hopefully this isn't as bad as it looks, and it looks pretty bad. About it. And also Moonfall. Welcome to the Fishball. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do think that... Some people do use EDH Rec that way. On the other hand, like, I think EDH Rec can be used in other ways, too. There's there's other things you can do with it. Uh, I like to use EDH Rec to, to kind of double check, like, build a deck and then look through EDH Rec and be like, okay, did I miss anything really cool? Because sometimes you do. There's so many cards in Magic. So that's my favorite way to use EDH Rec personally. All right, Katilda and Teachings of the Kieran. Well, because they couldn't kill it until after we were in combat, we're not dead. We got rid of the AO. We turned it into kind of nothing. Our opponent does get to kill our goblin. We're going to get to draw off this wedding announcement, too. Opponent blocks, blocks, blocks. Blocks. Man, Hallowed, Hallowed Awning's legit. It is, it is pretty legit. Yeah, I mean, that didn't go too badly. For them having the removal spell, that could have went way worse. Ooh, all right. That's an enchantment. That's good. That's good. We flip the announcement. That lets us hopefully turn our enchantments back on. But it grows the Shauna. 
But how do you get through the biggest board? These are six sixes. How taunting. I built a deck based on one of the new 40k commanders. EDA trick has no data on that commander. Ooh. All right, opponent, I'm gonna eat our Kiki. Well, after this game, it'll probably be spoiler time. I personally use Goldfish, EDH, Rec, Moxfield. All have their uses. Yeah, I think that's the best plan is to to pull the best parts from multiple places and put that together into your decks. I think that's that's probably the easiest way to do it or the best way. All right, Bonnet plays the land. Surprise, they're not cycling the land. And one, two, three, four, hmm, five. Oh, they gain two. How'd they gain? How'd they gain life? Oh, they gain life because of the wandering empa. All right, so we get to flip. This is pretty good though. Teachings of the Kieran. Make some spirits. Do we get flying? No. Yes. No. I don't destroy evil. Kill the Shauna. And here we come. How do you feel about some nine nines to the face opponent? <laughs> oh, got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're getting close to spoiler time. We got to win this one fast. Uh, touch the spirit realm in circle of confinement. I guess that stays. What are we cutting? Uh, one restoration. Write it like that. Yo, Ali. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I mean, <clears throat> I feel like people using EDH Rex. That is the idea that there should be brothers war spoilers. So. Normally, they uh, Wizards never says, oh, we're going to spoil 10 cards or whatever. But historically, their sneak peek streams uh, do do contain spoilers. So there should be some amount of spoilers. Well, hmm. Play the land. Jukai Naturalist Go. Opponent land and Shauna. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's play the planes. Hollow dawning. Pass the turn. Pony can draw a bunch of cards, but green spins a bit off at the top. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're right. There's a little, <laughs> little, uh, little line there. Also, our records off. Our record should be much better than that. We're one and zero. Oh. Welcoming vampire. Wait, wouldn't it be better just to draw three with Shauna rather than play welcoming vampire? That's kind of weird. Hmm. So we can. Oh, okay. Let's do right of harmony value stuff. So we get to play right of harmony. When a creature enchantment ETBs, draw a card. Rockfall Veil. Vale. We play Fable the Mirror Breaker. That makes a creature so we draw. It's an enchantment so we draw. And then it makes a creature so we draw. That's a, that's a draw three. That is a draw three past the turn. Ho, oh, oh. that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We're finally doing it. And now it's in the graveyard so we could do it again. Maybe we just outdraw the Shauna. I will keep an eye on the stream. It, it says starting soon right now. So we will not miss the spoilers. We won't miss the spoilers. Katilda, opponent gets to draw a card. Oh, next turn we could really draw some cards. We get restorations and teachings or fable. Ooh, all right, opponent. What do you got, friend? What do you got? Combat attacks. You know what? We'll just take it. If you would like to gain three and draw three, go for it. One more Yagmath would be sweet. 
Yeah, Brothers War is apparently a time travel set. I don't know exactly what that means, but yes. Uh-oh. So, so they started the stream. We'll finish this game really quick because they're doing news and alchemy first. We'll definitely be there. We'll be there as soon as this, this game ends. So, uh, all right, how do we do this? Discard up to two cards. We can discard a land, discard a land. Draw a couple cards. Oh my God, another Hallowed Haunting. Maybe we wait one more turn. Yeah, let's wait one more turn because we can play this. We can play Hallowed Haunting number two. Make a dork. Fable the Mirror Breaker number two. Make two dorks. Go attacking. You know what? Let's get in with the Goblin. We're going to lose it, but... Next turn, we're going to have the absurd turn. Usually, I just want to ban problem cards instead of limiting them in allowed decks for high rolls. That is uh, that is true. I think in general, uh, the idea of like restricting cards so you only play one copy, I think it sounds good, but in practice, I don't think it'll be as good. Arocalypse, $3 donation. Any plans to bring Revelin Riches into Explorer? Oh, and you missed my sub. Ah, oh, Arocalypse, my apologies. Welcome back to the fish. Wow, it was a while ago. Welcome back to the fishbowl for the 32nd month. Thank you for your subscription. Big tip, Jimmy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we will definitely do some more Revelin Riches in, for sure. Uh, we will we'll make, uh, make sure. Wait, Pioneer List? Oh, <gasps> okay. Pioneer list. Be full of cards that kill me all the time. Okay, so Gruel Stompy. Some, Stompy. some Chandra, Torch, oh. Defiance, Bone Crusher, Giant, Glory. Did Mera, they say? Love did they say peace, a price on these? And a bunch of friends, including four Land War Elves and four Elvish. Is that one stomping ground? Watsy. Next up, we Watsy. have Wars of Humans. Wars of Humans. Uh, Rally the ranks. A black white deck. One got the punch. punch <sighs> has four mutable snuck in there to go with. Two uh, mutables, number of that Thalias says and Thalias lieutenants, as well as a number of other special humans. Uh, uh, and then finally, one of my favorite decks last in Pioneer, deck. is it Phoenix? Is it Phoenix? Two by two uh, Phoenix. I will <laughs> note on this one that this deck list has two, two expressive Phoenixes. iteration in it, two which Phoenix. is currently banned in Pioneer. Two now, Phoenix. like we've done with previous <laughs> fixed deck products that had. I mean, I guess it makes. Them. I guess it makes sense. You buy two of them put together. That seems to be where they're going, but you you can't play this out of the box. List. You can't you can't play Phoenix with two Phoenixes. That's you gotta buy two of them, really. You gotta buy two of them, then you can do some stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Oh, we gotta do this turn because this turn's gonna be ridiculous. Right of Harmony. We're down to eight, but whatever. Alright, flip the saga, draw a card. Oh my goodness, flip the saga, draw a card. Can we win here? What is this deck? 14th? It's called GN3. As um, long as your turn equip creatures you control have indestructible. That's actually not bad. Your friends. Um, <sighs> All right, let's finish this turn. Let's finish this turn because this turn's going to be so sweet. Discard the Jetmir Garden. Hallowed Haunting. Okay, so. Those again, also available on daily and Teachings of the Kirin. Double trigger. Draw about a million Magic the Gathering cards. What is this new card? Next up, go target creature. I mean, these cards are okay. Oh my goodness, we gotta finish this turn. We gotta finish this turn. We gotta 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 finish the turn. Uh, teachings of the Kieran. Trigger trigger. Draw a bunch of cards. Trigger. Oh, it's game nights. That's what it is. Okay, we we can catch up on those. Draw a card. Draw a card. Classic Shivan Dragon to go along with some. Circle of Confinement. Make some. What a turn. What a turn. And a bonus scoops it up. Ha! Okay. Okay, that's enough. That was the deck was sweet. The deck is sweet. All right, let's get to the stream. So, Game Nights is a a new player focused uh, pre con product. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of elves you control. Can assign combat damage as though it wasn't blocked. All right. 
Again, head to dailymtg.com. How is how is the volume how's the volume level between me and Blake? It's got like Blake doesn't look too bad life today. Down, uh, Not too stressed out. Counters, life platforms, Especially for reference someone reference who's about to uh, sort of preview alchemy cards. Um, <laughs> finally, we are announcing a new product for people Ooh. just starting out. Uh. So starter commander decks are going to be coming out December 2nd. That's actually a great idea. We were gonna be, just... You know, a lot of the Commander decks we release are... We were just having a conversation about complexity releases. creep. These are going to be around generally and are made to introduce people. We were just having a like conversation so about complexity there are creep. Five of these and if we would be able to get new players into Commander... today. Uh, we'll show the full deck list as we get closer to that release. On oh, they're December all reprints. 2nd. Okay. Uh, but uh, these cards are I really love the idea of new player commander decks. Players, so each of the allies. Oh, did I miss it? Two really? Pairs oh, I did. <laughs> Doug, I'm a, a sorry. Day in Wildfire $2 donation. Here's the deck Judge. I was telling you about. No data from EDH Rick when I started. Arcade Unfortunately, Red I'm Red not Red exactly Samara. reinventing the storm. Ooh. That's great. Let me see, Doug. Uh, so, yeah, those are starter commander decks arriving. Oh, yeah. December Grayson is like second. perfect right. for a storm commander. Perfect, perfect, thing. perfect. Oh, sorry. Sorry it took thing. me a minute the to get there, Doug. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. The deck looks sweet. On looks super Dominaria sweet. United Alchemy. So, it's canceled. Dominaria United Alchemy is going canceled? to be available on no. October okay. 6th. We tried. That is next week. Previews are kicking off, well, actually, right now. <laughs> Because we're going to show you a preview of a card in the set called Oracle of the Alpha. So Oracle of the Alpha, we'll put that up on the screen. Fly. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, a conjure the Bird Power Wizard. Nine into your library, and then uh, it has flying. And when Oracle of the Alpha enters the battlefield, conjure the Power Nine into your library, then shuffle. And when Oracle of the Alpha attacks, scry one. That means in arena. Uh, if you're playing Alchemy or Historic, <sighs> you will actually be able to play with the Power Nine <laughs> that are going to look a little something like this. Uh, so get shuffled into your deck and you'll draw some. You should play some blue. Okay. Ancestral Recall, Time Walk, Time Twister. Right here, those are good cards. <sighs> uh, so the Dominaria United. I mean, I'm Alchemy glad draw, that those cards like are on Arena. Six, it contains. Like, cards. this means Power 9 uh, is on Arena. You can put October them into cubes. There'll Again, be things like that, but... You're going to hear me say that a lot. There is going to be an article about where to find... Shuffle Dominant the Power 9 into Alchemy your library. ...previews. Uh, and then next week, on October 4th, we're going to have more details on what's next for Alchemy, Historic, and Explorer. Oh, Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Now we're does that do mean they're going to cancel it? The main event. All right, we're going to talk. Here's the big news: War. Brothers so War. The Brothers War is a look <laughs> back at possibly Magic's most iconic storyline: the war between Urza and Mishra. Uh, it is the super. The Brothers R&D. War was the subject of the Ooh. set Antiquities originally. We got glimpses of what Urza are they and holding Mishra in. Uh, alpha and beta, but antiquities started to flesh it out. Dread! Uh, now Welcome to the Fish Bowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Fairy, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are going to be looking back on okay. that war. I mean, those are big artifacts. Look at those huge. To preserve the present. So we are going to get a the modern present? view of that war. Um, Interesting. So this is have to look back current planeswalkers going to figure back. Out how to. Uh, I'm so confused. <laughs> current Phyrexian threat. So they're going back now to the Brothers War to try to figure out how to beat the Phyrexians. Up. And we're going to throw a calendar up on the screen here in a moment as we scroll through some beautiful art. That's all art that is going to appear. I mean, the art looks scenes. fine. All right. Here's 30th the calendar that's coming up. So October 4th, that is next Tuesday, uh, 30th anniversary oh. announcement. So I'm going to talk more about that in a moment. Wow, October previews don't come for a while. That is so we're looking the like Brothers War story. We're looking at the guess. end of the the end of October. Oh, yeah, we got a full month MTG. until full spoilers. Uh, the building worlds video talking about the world building well, and we'll be in Vegas, so hopefully we can uh, can get some of the spoilers from there. Uh, building the set, and then October twenty seventh, a month will until be full spoilers. War I think debut video. 27th that debut video. Into the weekend of October 20th through 20th, 30th previews at Magic 30. 30th, which, if you aren't aware, is the Magic 30 event in Las Vegas. Now, all of the in person tickets for that are sold out. Um, we are just going to have a ton of previews at that event. 
Uh, there will be some on the World Championship stream. There will be some that you can view I mean, in that'll some be, of the virtual that'll be events. Sweet. Show us There's some cards, Blake. Show us some on cards. Site. Uh, don't worry, we will be sharing some of that information and previews uh, on social media and in various other ways so that you don't feel like you're missing anything. But it's going to be a party. goes back in time and kills and Baby Alchemy. <laughs> Uh, then we move forward to November 11th. That's when the pre-release, yes, the yes, tabletop yes. pre-release, can be. Paper pre-release being uh, before digital is good. The, news, the tabletop pre-release is going to that's, precede the I digital think release. That's a good digital thing. release on MVP I think it's good Arena for local game stores at least. Online will be November 15th. And then finally, the global Apparently, release. Apparently, which I'm fine with only a single Alchemy November spoiler. As long as we get... For the Brothers War. As long I'd as like we get Brothers War. That and did that on purpose. And then finally, Commander Parties celebrating the Brothers War will take place December 16th like. through 18th. Uh, so I hinted that that October 4th announcement was a big one. Um, we are kicking off our 30th anniversary celebration. We've, we've talked about it here and there. Um, but really, we are kicking things off next Tuesday at 6 a.m. 6 a. Pacific time. We're getting an early start 6 over here, 9 a.m. Eastern time, and extrapolate it out from there globally. Um, we will be talking all things 30th anniversary. We will be revealing things that won't be public until oh, no. are they not going to uh, show us 2023? Are We've got some show huge, huge, spoilers? huge announcements coming next Tuesday. So definitely tune in well, for Well, huge that. announcements next Tuesday is um, cool, I guess. Additionally, part of our 30th anniversary celebration is that when you attend a pre-release, like the Brothers War pre-release that we just talked about, those cards do look one of super amazing. Anniversary I mean, they're, uh, so these are if all they don't spoil new cards, I'm going to be very looks, disappointed. Looks back. Uh, <laughs> They always have when they do these first look sneak peek streams. But they were printed, so you see Walt I'm getting Bruce, nervous that, that on it, Blake kind of just like glossed over the Brothers Windfall, War. And that is a loyal retainers on the far right there in Chinese Simplified. So if you attend a Brothers War pre-release, you can get these promo cards. All right, now we're going to dive into so much Brothers War content, including uh, some stuff I'm really excited for that we have never done before um, okay but we're gonna we're gonna ease into it uh, we are gonna start by showing off a good deal of art from the set <laughs> because uh, the Brothers War one of the things it has going for it is this uh, you're gonna meet a lot of familiar names some of them you'll meet for the first time <sighs> some are in the second iteration but we're gonna see a and lot they spoil of just for this set from oh the my stories goodness. of old now uh, in the modern times Again, we're seeing this through a sort of modern looking glass. And so that means Teferi is going to be involved if there's any sort of time trickery. So Teferi, Teferi Temporal, Temporal Pilgrim. Pilgrim. See, that's the card right. name. Well, can never, can never get away from, <laughs> can never get away from Teferi. Teferi's up too. They got to show us cards, story. right? They got to. Also involved, so Sahili Filigree Master. Is this War of the Spark Part 2? Do you think that's where they're going? Is this another like gather all the planeswalkers? Sort of familiar there. I'm I wonder. I wonder if that's where this is but heading. Of course, much of the story is going to be the brothers. Here is some art for Mishra. Claim Mishra looks Agnes. pretty, uh, pretty hardcore. And then there's Urza, Urza. <laughs> Lord Protector. <laughs> Urza looks like now very it's not just about Urza, like, Urza, rough. Mishra. Of course, they they sh <laughs> their shadow hangs over everything, but so much of this Lord lore Protector. Was about the people around them, the people who were sucked in to their conflict, or yeah, I don't know, Urza, Urza, Urza looks a little egged it on. Ooh, Gix. So we are finally going to get Ooh. a version of Gix. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, it's not a card, but that we looks are also that going to see revisits for characters. Like Urkel? Urkel? Urkel's Recall Urkel. reprint. Yeah, we need a Gix. We need a Gix forever. Ashnod. Ooh, Among Ashnod's Altar in Standard. Many, they probably could put Ashnod's Altar in Standard. Others. So if if there is a character. Okay. So a lot of old school characters returning. War, probably have them involved. In Wait, who is Ash? Somehow. Is that um, not like a zombie course, maker? All right. Of course, we have to show off some cards. Thank you, Blake. We wouldn't tease you that way. So yeah. we're going to start <laughs> we're getting uh, nervous with there, Blake. some gorgeous basic land Aww, to set the scene. Blake. So it's not just about the characters, okay. but about the world, 
around <laughs> like, them. And so the Brothers War focuses okay, heavily okay. on So we see a lot of big machines. machines. We were talking about of yeah. war that the brothers put together. These huge to artifacts. We see them. We see them. Those are actual guards. They do look nice. And they so do we look have nice. this series Perfect of for playing Affinity. Lands, if you're playing like a, a robot deck. Uh, mechs that yeah. were involved in the war. This is like, this is like some Star Wars. Star Wars. Land type. <laughs> Star Wars uh, walkers going on. Notice these are main set lands with the numbering at the bottom. Okay. Those look real good. Those look super good. I will accept them. Just gorgeous, gorgeous start. My personal still favorite is the planes up in the upper left. But the, the planes uh, looks you really good. You can't go wrong with any of these. Uh, now let's transition into some of the promos. So if you participate okay. in a Brothers War game day event, you can get one of these recruitment promos. officer surgeon. Uh, so that recruitment officer surgeon. one mana two one humans or two. Oh. Colorless or two of any kind of mana, you get a three two. Artifact. Okay, two mana, three two construct defender. Pay a blue, a blue loses mana. defender and can't be blocked. Pay three, becomes a five four. Pay six, draw three cards. Ooh, that's like a. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. So you play it on two. And then finally, uh, the curve uh, is a little weird. Recruitment officer, one mana, two, one, one. Four, four mana. Look at the top four cards you have by your library. You can reveal a creature mana value three or less from one hand, put it in your hand, put the rest on the bottom in a random order. Once. That actually seems like a legit card, too. Recruitment officer. So if, if well, those are cards isn't really your thing. Uh, that's actually that's like a, one, that's a great of. card for aggro. Like a Savannah Lions. The problem with Savannah Lions is as the game goes along, they become worse. It's a 2-1. Off the top of your deck in the late game, it's horrible. This is a Savannah Lions that actually has great late game potential. If you draw off the top, well, you just dig for something else. That might even be modern playable. I would not be surprised. And it's a soldier. We just got a soldier lord. Surge Engine. I think Surge Engine's pretty powerful, too. It is a Valve Sleeper-esque, essentially. Ooh. Oh, it's a mythic. It looks like. And then really, it's a left, myth. Wait, two mana. So it's version, two mana for a 3 2 defender. Boosters Pay one. On so right. three mana for a 3 2 and unblockable. Here is what looks like. Six mana for a 5 like 4 unblockable. And it's an uncommon. So oh, I guess that's actually. Okay, arts. I guess that's actually. Now, that's actually pretty good. That's actually, box, that's actually a lot better than I thought. Store. The buy a box. It does seem like a rare, though. Is Pretty spicy. Oh, Mishra's like Foundry. This is a new Land. card from the set. Mishra's Add a Foundry. Generic. But it is in pay two. Becomes a two frame. two assembly so worker. Pay one, tap it. Target assembly worker gets plus. Ooh, that's a callback to Mishra's Factory. And then for two, that's Mishra's a callback to Mishra's Factory. A two, two, it's one more. Worker, artifact creature until oh, end of turn. but the it pump doesn't work on defense. Oh, and then for it's a lot worse. It, target I mean, that's still a that's still a huge standard card. That'll be still be a huge standard card. You can't do the Mishra's Workshop trick. The Mishra's Workshop trick is you block with it, and then you pump it, so it turns into a 3-3. Only targets attackers, so it's kind of a fixed Mishra's Factory, or Mishra's Workshop, Mishra's Factory. But that's still... Wow. Muna Vault was, like, broken in standard. Factory would be broken in standard. Yeah, it's two to activate, but right. I still Next think that up, that's actually going to be a, a legit card. Legends from back Legend. in the time we're going to be this. If you purchase a bundle. Oh, Foundry's so good. Foundry's so good. The bundle is a Ooh. retro frame Queen Kayla Bin Krug. Queen Kayla Bin Krug. Three mana, two, three. Two, three. Human Noble. Pay four to Scholar. All the cards in your hand. Draw that many cards. You may choose an artifact or creature mana value when you discard it this way. Then do the same for artifact or creature cards. Mana two or three. Return them to the battle. You may Whoa. choose an artifact or Whoa. creature card with mana value one. You discard Whoa. it this way. Then do the Whoa. same for artifact or creature cards. Wait, pay four, two, discard your hand. So you pay for and wheel, the and then you return an artifact of mana value one. So you might be two and three. Queen Caleb and Krug. These are these are Queen brothers' war cards. Um, Wait, no, three and two. Am I reading this right? Of this. You choose an artifact or creature with mana value one you discarded, then do the same for artifact or creatures with mana value two and three. So you're gonna get six if you hit everything. You get six now, mana value back. Um, Queen Caleb and Krug, super cool character. That card's actually like around. super powerful. Um, but the Urza and Mishra of this set, you do need a handful. Of course, be epic. 
They oh. are characters that loom are large in all of Magic's history. Are they going to show up? And so uh, when you think of looming large, are you going to show up? Uh, something may come to mind. So we are going to look at three preview cards coming up that are kind of one. Uh, the Might Stone are we and melding? the Stone, if you're familiar with the story, play a huge role. In Come on, Blake. To Come on, Blake. Show us something good. That legend seems so, so good. This next Dive on, and he'll give subs to Stone Forge Mysticism, Days Guppy, and, and Steve Meyer. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big legendary subscription. Big subscription for you. Artifact. Power Meld! Meld's when coming Stone back! When Stone enters the battlefield, choose one. Five Draw mana. Two cards. ETB. Target creature gets minus five, minus five until in turn, and you can tap it to add two colorless and okay. mana can't be cast okay. can't be spent to wow, cast non we got to see what meld is we got to see what but the meld your is your eyes went to that last line there that says melds with urza what is the Lord what is the Protector. meld uh, let's take a look at urza lord oh my goodness Protector. urza lord uh, protector he is, 3 mana art, 2 4 urza artifacts instant earlier. sorceries one, one last to cast and a pay blue for 7 a if you own and control Urza Lord Protector, an artifact named Minkstone and Weakstone, exile it and meld into Urza Planeswalker, activate it only as a sorcery. Mana. If you oh. both own and okay. control Urza Lord Protector, and an oh artifact my goodness. named the Mightstone and the Weakstone, meld is back. exile them, then meld them into two, Urza four for, Planeswalker. 2 4 for 3 is not bad. This Planeswalker has this to be absurd. Now this has to be like that Urza the most powerful Planeswalker we've ever seen. So this, it's got to be busted. It's got to be busted. It's got to be busted. Version of Urza it's got to be busted. Of his power. Let's see it. When those two cards flip wow, over and combine, five, and it's, it's five so abilities. Hard to show how five big abilities. And cool. You may activate the loyalty abilities of Urza Planeswalker twice each turn rather than once. Plus two artifacts, instants, and sorcery spells you cast this turn cost two less to cast. You gain two life. Draw two cards and discard a card. Is a plus one zero. Make two colorless soldier artifact creature tokens. Negative three exile non land permanent. Negative ten artifacts and planeswalkers you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Destroy all non land permanents. Should be destroy all permanents. Wow. Wow. Plus one. First five, two first cards, five ability. And actually cards. six with the stat. Zero mana. Create two Whoa. One, one colorless soldier artifact creature. I mean, it's tokens. a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Minus you got to have two different cards in pay seven. Permanent. And you Minus get rewarded with and planes artifacts an and absolutely epic planes planes walker. Walker. indestructible. You can activate it twice. Turn, destroy all and non land that permanents. First that first plus, artifacts and sorcery spells you cast cost two less. That applies to everything for the for the entire turn. You can so you can draw four, discard two, flood the board, exile one wow. card in this set. But we're not showing it today. Um, of course, that is that planeswalker is epic, later on epic epic. If you want to know what <laughs> I don't know if it's good looks like in that form, you're gonna have to tune in October fourth where we will be sharing Mishra's melded form. Now, that Ooh, doesn't mean we're done Mishra's showing off cards well. for today. Um, we are is actually Urza going to go over one of my favorite things about this set, oh. which are the commander decks. So oh. we could not make two commander decks for this set without them being helmed by Urza and Oh, Mishra. more Urzas. We already so do you saw think... what, the, what we can do with Urza to make <sighs> that super cool. So we had to come up with something. So do you think Urza is going to be amazing, good? Or at least just as amazing, depending on your perspective, for the commander decks. All right, so let's, here's let's what we see did. Him. Both commander decks are entirely retro framed. Oh, new cards, reprints, everything nice. has a retro frame, including everything cards old border. that have never been printed in it before. Okay. So let's That's take a, a look at the two face cards and what, do you what got? those look like. We've got Urza, Urza Chief Artificer. So six mana four Urza five. Chief Artificer Affinity on the left for and in the center creatures. are the two versions you will get. Artifact creature that menace to be in the Create a extended Karn version on the far right is the yeah. one that will show up in collection. I mean, actually, so that's Urza probably pretty Chief good. Urza Chief Artificer is three, a white, a blue, and a black for a four. That's actually pretty good. At first, I was kind of like, man, but because of affinity, if you can get this down to three mana or even four mana, four or five gives your artifact creatures menace. So you can get in right away, and then end step, you start making Karn Strucks. We've seen Urza Saga be absolutely busted. He, I will say Urza looks Mishra. a little rough in this set. The years have not Realty's been kind on Urza. Out of the, out of Mishra, eminent mm -hmm. one. Five mana, five, four. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token 
that's a copy of target non-creature artifact you control, except its name is Mishra's Warform. It's a 4-4 construct artifact creature in addition to its other type. It gains haste until end of turn, sacrifice the beginning next end step. I mean, that's kind of a cool artifact aggro commander. Artifact I think Urza is probably it more intriguing, turn, although it does something pretty neat. Step, like, so like kind of, it's very Tezzeret-ish, turning your artifacts into creatures. creatures for the turn. Definitely good for, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, existing artifact said, Hold on. commander decks. And I said the entire deck was printed in the retro frame. Let's see some of those cards right now. So it is going Ooh. to contain, for example, Old Border Reliquary Command Tower. Tower Old Border Soul Ring, Ring which already Tower exists, but... <laughs> in the retro frame. Now, of course... A little cheaper than, like, a, an Alpha Soul Ring, I think. Every commander deck. Okay. I mean, those print. are commander staples and that we haven't had Old Border before. people are going to be excited to get these Command Tower, I will cards. definitely play in all my Including decks. Including me. I have an entire retro frame white-blue deck. Uh, now let's show... Three more that are not necessarily in every Ooh. deck. So that is a retro Bell frame preordain. A retro skull frame clamp. Skull clamp. Oh, that deserves to be. Yes, that deserves a brown artifact gold frame. Gold it border. deserves it. The preordain looks strips. beautiful. Why did they ever? Why did they ever change? Why did they drop the old border? Why did they? Why did they drop it? Those cards just look so beautiful, so crisp, so clean. Oh, they look yeah, so good. Well, that's probably going to make me buy these commander decks, honestly, just because it's all or, old are order. Are in this retro frame as we are looking back at Magic. Good Pass. choice by Wizards. Uh, good now choice. Now we are not going to reveal more cards. For Includes these two collector decks booster, Urza's Did... <laughs> Iron Alliance, and collector Mishra's booster sample packs. Garnished banner. Uh, you will notice that it also includes the Collector Booster Sample Pack, which has two additional cards. I will say, I don't know about the text for this set. Like the font of the Brothers War. It looks kind of like cartoony when the old border in the history of this set is, I don't know. I, I kind of wish the font was more serious. I know that's like the, the most nitpicky oh, we're complaint. Not, we're but. not done. We're not done. So much more cool stuff. Still going. Um, so uh, Brothers War will have jumpstart packs as well. So we'll throw that packaging up there so we can take a look at that. Did anyone buy the DMU jumpstart? Sorry, Dicks fans. We are Did that even come out? Is it today. is it worth it? Not today. There's this set has so much going for it. Yeah, it doesn't the thought like oh, um, it's like these epic, there will be epic cards in the old border, that. and it's All right. yeah, looks like some high school Next metal band, up. the best uh, ever death metal band out of that. Rumors to this uh, to this end. So we're gonna talk through um, another way that this set is looking back at Magic's past. We have box toppers, uh, a couple different versions of some retro masterpieces, artifacts that Ooh. will be found mystical archives. The set. So mystical archives. What we're going to show you can be found in draft set and collector boosters. Okay, they are not standard legal. Um, it's like but, artifact mystical archives because they'll have a different uh, symbol on them. So let's show some of these retro artifacts. So let's start with Ivory Tower. An old classic. So, eh. Ivory Tower hasn't been around for a while. But hasn't been. Not, Ivory Tower hasn't been good in a long time. It used to actually be, yeah. Type 30 two. years ago, it was so, actually, like, um, busted. People just could not frame, beat Life Gain. <laughs> couldn't art. do it. Some will have um, original art. Some will have newer art. We got to hope that they put the Space Feller in on the um, Moto. Yeah, this looks like while. Mystical Archives now, for artifacts. Now, there is a artifacts. second version of these. And, again, these can be found in draft set or they have like some special foil for, for collector boosters, probably. Um, these are Ooh. a special uh, set of Ooh. retro frame artifacts that I like it. show off the schematics as the if sch these are being designed. We had that in we had that in MH two, right? Didn't Modern Horizons two have essentially like the sketch cards that were very similar? They do look cool though. I like the I like the schematic look. Another old classic. Come on, give us a. Oh, come on, give us a good card. Jaylen give us a good card, Tone. Blake. These are the ones you don't want to open. <laughs> so this is what the original... Jalem it's it's pretty bad. These are ones that are so bad you don't um, even like playing Commander. Before but before we show you the next one, um, we have done something a little bit special as well. We just, we just keep piling special on top of special Black on top Lotus. of special. <laughs> um, so for the first time in a Magic Booster product, we're actually introducing serialized versions. Oh, of we called it. That, we called um, it. Going You're going to get the one of so one. Basically, what we're doing is we're taking the retro schematic 
card. You gotta get the one of one with Marrow's and fingernails. There is a special serialized <laughs> version, which will feature what we're calling the double rainbow foiling. And those are gonna be exclusive to collector boosters. Yeah. So, so let's throw up the next screen. So there on the right, you can see what an example of Wait, what why a does it say XXX? Uh, version looks like it's going to have that foiling. You know there's going to be one of ones This is a sports card thing. No, it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's a way to make things collectible and expensive, uh, but that's fine because these cards already exist. But it's a sports card thing. You know there's going to be one of ones so There's going to be some epic worm coil that's one of one, and someone opens it, and it's going to be worth $1,000 or something. Uh, it does show up. Yeah, that means that only 500 version. of these uh, will the exist. Art is not different, but and each one will be numbered. Yours will be one of, one of 520 so that is or whatever. the first time we have done that. First time they've done I think that's a good choice, though. Pretty exciting. I think um, it's, I think it's also fine. Also worth noting is that we are not done still, uh, with still Brothers going. War this weekend. So upcoming, starting tomorrow, is PulseCon. So PulseCon is Hasbro's showcase I don't know of what PulseCon everything is, but. that Hasbro does, including Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering's panel is on Saturday. Um, but you might see us a wow. little bit tomorrow as well, if you're paying attention. Uh, but otherwise, tune in Saturday. For more details on PulseCon, head to Pulse.com, and you can learn more. Uh, we will be showing off some more Brothers War information there. And, of course, there will be more Brothers information on October oh. 4th. Uh, so let's circle back around to the calendar, just as a reminder of everything that is coming up so October wow. 4th, I think this again, is, set your calendar, I think this is it. I think clock, this is it. 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern time. This set looks amazing. Um, we'll, if, you're, wow. if you follow us on social media, we'll do reminders. Wizards 30th going on, anniversary this announcements, is, we are going to be sharing a ton of stuff. I think this is the start of the 30th anniversary. Wizards, you know it's going to be the, the 420s, the 69s. Number one is usually, in the sports card world, number one is usually the most valuable. Uh, so I think that'll also be valuable if you get one of 500. That's also a, a big number. Wow, this looks so good. Honestly, so I think some people are going to are probably going to be like, oh, those cards are going to be expensive or whatever. But I think it's fine. They're, they're not making unique new cards that are one of one. These are reprints. There's cheaper versions available. So I think if they want to do like super expensive versions of, of a worm coil engine or whatever, I, I think that's perfectly acceptable. They're, they're monetizing something that there's a cheaper version of. I, that's how I want them to monetize things, honestly. Like, I think that's the that's the right way to go about it. I'm surprised they didn't get there earlier. Like, I, anything, we've talked about this before, the one of one, the, the card with Mark Rosewater's, you know, nail clippings or whatever. Uh, that's the way that the card market has been trending. So I'm actually, like, surprised that they didn't get there earlier, honestly. So what did we, what did we learn today? Other than, I mean, Brothers War looks spectacular. So what do we what do we actually learn card wise? So we got Surge Engine. I think I'm gonna make this. Wow, that's an uncommon. Recruitment Officer, I think, is a, actually a, just a really good uncommon. I would not be surprised if that was at least Pioneer playable and maybe even better than that. Surge Engine. I think this card is a lot better than it looks. Because remember, it's getting can't be blocked. So you pay it for two, you pay one, you end up with a three mana total, three to unblockable. Okay, that's not bad. You pay three more, so six total mana. It's a five, four unblockable. And then you can just pay six mana to draw three cards. That's actually kind of exciting too. So I feel like that actually is a lot better than it looks. I think the flexibility of it and the fact that you're getting the unblockable aspect of it, I think that's actually really strong. Recruitment officer is good. Queen Kayla is like, uh, yeah, you gotta have a handful of cards, but that's so good. You're getting six mana worth of cards when you discard them and you're refilling your hand. The thing I have the biggest question about, and I need your I need your help, Jack, because I'm gonna have to make the spoiler video. Also, Mishra's Foundry, I think is gonna be really good in standard, probably not outside of standard. What do you think about Urza? What do you think about the meld? Is that, is it good enough? So we saw the Planeswalker. The Planeswalker is, it is absurdly powerful. It might be the most powerful Planeswalker Wizards has ever made. Like six abilities if you count the static. It draws cards. It protects its stuff. It exiles stuff. It blows up the board. It doesn't even blow up your board or most of your board. It is really, really good. The question is, you got to have Urza, and it has to live. And then you got to play the Might and Weak Stone, which is, 
I, I don't know, like kind of okay. I guess it should kill something for five mana, draw two cards for five mana. Honestly, the, the Meek Stone is like kind of underpowered as far as what it costs. It is nice that it helps you flip your Urza, Unfortunately, it's restriction of not being able to cast non-artifact spells. It's basically like the power. It is a power stone. It literally is a power stone. Uh, that is a big, a big, uh, a big drawback. Do you think it's actually going to be good, or isn't it against the odds card? So turn three Urza, turn five uh, Might Stone and Weak Stone. Next turn, you can flip into an absolutely busted Planeswalker. Although remember, it says if you if you both own and control both pieces so not only like uh, it reminds me a little bit and this might be a bad comparison it reminds me the most of nicole bolas the ravager i think that's the best comparison let me see if i can pull up nicole bolas the ravager do you remember when nicole bolas the ravager the one that flips so so the one that flips it's seven mana to flip it and the problem is you can get blown out in response. Like you have to, you have to flip it and you have to not have it die to a removal spell. There's going to be times when you pay seven mana and your opponent's like fatal push, infernal grass, whatever. I got gotcha. Urza's kind of got the same, the same thing going on where there's going to be times where you pay seven mana and your opponent kills a piece and you lose seven mana. On the other hand, if you do flip it, it probably is going to win you the game. And even though the Might Stone and the Weak Stone is a little bit clunky, I mean, five mana kill something's not the end of the world, especially if you're trying to turn Urza on. So Urza is turn five. Turn four, turn four stone, turn five mouth. Yeah, I guess that's true. With the cost reduction from Urza, you can try to do it a turn, er, uh, a turn earlier. I mean, if it all works out, if it all works out, it's it's pretty good. I think Urza, though, neither card is super good on its own, I guess. Like, the Planeswalker is the payoff. The Planeswalker, obviously, mind-blowing. The glowing eyes, over the top. Uh, but this is just a 2-4 with a bit of a kind of okay ramp ability. And this is a little bit underpowered. It's going to be interesting to see how good it is. Seven mana reference to Yar? Hmm. What about the standard Azura's control deck with Lotus and Teferi for big mana? That could be a possibility. It is nice that it doesn't have to be unsummoning sick. Like, you can flip this right away. So if you somehow do get, like, Teferi, Timeless Lotus going, you can get up to 10 mana, Urza, already have the Might Stone and Weak Stone on the battlefield, and just immediately flip in. If you get the Urza, you're probably going to... I mean... I guess Urza still dies. It can still just get hit by a removal spell or whatever. But assuming that doesn't happen, it's got so much loyalty. You can use it twice a turn. It's so good. What do you think about... You do get the draw destroy with Meekstone. That's true. Although, like, it's not a super efficient card. Like, if you just look at its abilities... You gotta be, you gotta have Urza in your deck. I don't think you would play the Might Stone and the Weak Stone if you were not trying to do something with Urza. I don't think it's good enough to stand on its own. The same is probably true about Ursa. Like, most decks probably wouldn't play it unless you're trying to get the Planeswalker with Might Stone and the Weak Stone. But maybe together, like, with Urza giving the cost reduction and how they synergize, that might be enough. That might be enough. The tap is, the tap is nice, although keep in mind it is a power stone. So it has the same restriction as like Card Living Legacy, where the mana has to be cast on, uh, spent on artifacts or abilities, essentially. What do you think about the Mishra's Foundry? Am I overrating that? I feel like Mishra's Foundry is, like, this is the best card we saw today, right? Like, just as far as, just as far as how strong the card is in Standard, I would not be surprised, even though all these cards are sweet. I think Recruitment Officer is great. I think Queen Kayla is awesome. I think Surge Engine's underrated. Urza the Planeswalker is mind-blowing. I think Mishra's Foundry is just like, oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good in standard. Ranger Man, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. I got to say, this was the set I was most hyped about all year. Like, Brothers War... Brothers War was the set that I was just waiting for, uh, and it is looking even better than I expected. Like, this is even better than I expected. They're going old school. They're going old border. The commander decks look awesome. So my hype level is way up, and it was already super high for this set. So 
Uh, I don't know. What's your hype level at, chat? And then I gotta go make a make a spoiler video for the for the YouTubes. The YouTubes demand a spoiler video. What's your hype level? Now that you've got a first look at this at, you've got to see some of these spoilers. Up, down. Where where are you at with hype for Brothers War? Oh, it's such a cool card. It's such a I, I'm definitely gonna try to play it. I don't know how competitive it'll be, but boy, it's cool. It is just so, so cool. I'm pretty hyped. Six out of ten? Six out of ten seems a little low. Gonna be a bust. I, th I think so. I think that this is them kicking off... I think that this is them kicking off um, the 30th anniversary stuff. And I'm expecting the next year of Magic to be kind of absurd. I think Wizards is gonna plot all the stops. I think it's gonna be really, really powerful. Really, really... Oh, it's just gonna be so good. That's my expectation. That that Wizards is really gonna go for it and just pull out all the stops and make this next year in Magic insane. So that's what I'm hoping for, and I think it'll be pretty sweet. Hopefully they'll bring Mira to the limelight. Yeah, I mean, I think some of keep an eye on artifact stuff that already exists in standard. Uh not Karn. I don't think Karn's gonna make it anyway. Karn's just not super strong. But I think that uh I think that. We're going to see artifacts of Mirror and whatnot go up a lot in value since we're going into this, like, super artifact-heavy stat. So, is there any way to see spoilers on the site? It will be up on the main page shortly. But in the meantime, this link will... Uh, Joyra, maybe. I could see Joyra working as a ramp spell. I'm a little bit on the fence as whether it's actually going to be, like strong enough overall but i think that it's it could it might be I, I would keep it in mind at least i don't know if it's actually gonna make it but i would keep in mind the possibility of it actually being good enough so anyway i gotta go make a uh i gotta make a spoiler video it's spoiler video time so that is that is the new set that is brothers war if you want to hear more about it you can come over to the youtube in a in a couple few hours by the time i get the spoiler video done uh so i don't know let me know what you think everyone next stream is coming on tuesday and apparently we're gonna have a bunch more magic information about big announcements what's coming next year so we'll have something to talk about on tuesday as well reminders replay youtube normal youtube like i said spoiler video coming soon one more reminder that our sponsor tonight is card kingdom and if you need some magic cards you can make card kingdom.com slash mtg goldfish and most importantly thank you to all of you i know it's a little short stream thanks for hanging out talking about spoilers looking at the new set having some fun we might play some more of that that enchantment deck because that enchantment deck was sweet so I love you all, everyone. Have an amazing night. Have a great weekend if I don't see you. I'll see you Tuesday for more fun. Until then, I will talk to you soon.